Pues primero la economía española se está recuperando gradualmente y también hay un reequilibrio importante de la economía española. Esto es debido en mayor parte por la fuerza de las exportaciones. Segundo, también hay que decir que la respuesta de política económica fue, ha sido fuerte y de amplio alcance. Esto es verdad en materia fiscal, en materia de reforma laboral o en el sector financiero. Pero esto también, hay que decir, no es suficiente. Hay una necesidad importante de continuar las reformas y sobre todo a profundizar las reformas. The deficit has definitely been cut quickly enough in Spain. The targets are entirely appropriate. They're necessary for debt sustainability and they're necessary for credibility. Our concerns here are really around two things. The first is we're concerned the macroeconomic projections may be a bit optimistic. And secondly, we're concerned that some regions may not deliver on their targets. What does this mean? It means that additional measures should be identified, good quality measures for the medium term, and all levels of government in Spain need to deliver on their commitments. Well, on the positive side, there has been some improvement in the terms of rebalancing the economy. Exports are doing quite well, imports have come down, and the construction sector is much smaller. Unfortunately, this is not enough to deliver the employment growth we're looking for. Unemployment is unacceptably high. And this is Spain's real problem. This is Spain's Achilles heel. And it is here where bolder action is required. A lot of progress has been made on the banking sector over the last 12 months. Capital has been raised, losses have been recognized. The savings bank sector has been fundamentally overhauled. They're much bigger institutions, much stronger, and they're raising money from the markets and not from the government. This is all very good. Nevertheless, the outlook for the banks is going to be difficult given the economy. This means that the cost saving has to be rapidly and aggressively implemented, and capital buffers need to be continued to be strengthened.